Hello everybody, Fungosaurus Rex here and today we're going to be taking a look at how to build a hopper minecart unloader. Now this is a very simple, very easy build to do. It doesn't require much materials and it is useful in tons of scenarios. So let's jump straight in and get building. First, let's take a look at our shopping list. We're going to be needing one redstone torch, one repeater, one comparator, one powered rail, one hopper, three building blocks of your choice. This can be dirt, this can be stone or cobblestone, two chests, and finally, we will need one minecart hopper. So let's grab all of those and let's get started. Now you've built your farm and you're getting tons of beautiful materials up top there. You've laid out your track at the bottom for your minecart collector. And there's a bit of a problem. If we place down our hopper minecart, you'll see it collects some of the materials. But there's a limitation because the hopper minecart can only hold five stacks of items. Now if you've got a big farm and it's producing a lot of items, you'll see that there will be some left over at the top there. And this is what we're going to try and remedy. Now if we take a look in here, you'll see that the hopper minecart only deposits two items into the hopper per pass and that is just way, way too slow. It means that it's not going to be able to collect all of your items, they're going to despawn and your farm is going to be very inefficient. Now how do we solve this? Simple, we're going to make a hopper minecart unloader. So first let's get rid of this nonsense over here and then I'll show you exactly how we're going to build this. Now we've got our rail laid out here and we're going to go to the end of it to start our build. And the first thing we're going to put down is our chest. Now with our chest we can decide are we going to put it on the right hand side or are we going to put it on the left hand side. It really doesn't matter all that much. You can put it either side if you like. I'm going to put it on the right hand side. And we're simply going to put down two chests right there to make a double chest. Then we're going to select our hopper. We're going to crouch, aim at the side of the chest and then click to place the hopper. Now you'll see if you've placed it correctly, the pipe of the hopper goes into the chest, meaning anything that goes into the hopper will end up in the chest. Next, we'll put down our redstone comparator and we're gonna make sure that the two tall torches over there is next to the hopper and the little torch in the front is facing away. Next, we'll put down one block of cobblestone and on the opposite side of the comparator, we're gonna place down a redstone torch. So let's put that right there. On top of the redstone torch, we're going to place another block of cobblestone. So aim at the redstone torch and click to place. Then it's time to add our redstone repeater. And we're going to come over on this side, face the hopper and click to place down our redstone repeater. Now the two torches should be facing the hopper and away from the cobblestone we've just laid down. With our repeater in place, we'll come to this side and we'll place one more block of cobblestone. And believe it or not, we are almost done. Finally, we'll place down our powered rail. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the entire unloading system built. Now all we need to do is add our minecart. And you'll see the minecart zooms up and down the tracks. And that is because it is currently empty. As soon as we place something inside, you will see it stops right on top of the hopper. And it's going to remain there until everything inside of it has been unloaded. And yes, it really is that simple to build your very own minecart unloader. But how does it work and why does it do what it does? Let's investigate. So I'm going to start here with our chest and our hopper already laid out and our redstone rail on top of the hopper. There's no secret about any of this. So let's get into the actual redstone. First, we're going to place down a comparator. Now when a hopper gets something inside of it, it outputs a redstone signal and that is going to be picked up by this comparator over here which is going to output a redstone signal of its own. Now currently the hopper is empty so there's no signal being output into the comparator and no signal being passed along. So let's put down a block of cobblestone in front of the comparator and then let's put something inside of the hopper. Now you can see the comparator has lit up because there's a signal being passed to it from the hopper. And that signal is being passed into this block of cobblestone. So let's just empty this out quickly. And then we'll move on to the next step, which is placing a redstone torch on this side of the block. Now a redstone torch switches on and off depending whether it's being fed a signal or not. And at this stage it's not being fed a signal, so it is currently on. 
However, if we now put something in the hopper, you'll see that it turns off because the hopper is passing on a signal to the comparator, which in turn is passing it on to the cobblestone block. And because the redstone torch is sitting on the cobblestone block, it turns off. If we remove the items from the hopper, you'll see it switches back on again. Now the next thing we'll do is place a block on top of that redstone torch. And because the redstone torch is currently lit, the block we put on top of it is going to be powered. And that means there's a redstone signal to be passed along. And we're going to do that with a redstone repeater. Now because the block on top of the torch is powered, the redstone repeater is also powered. And that means it will also pass the redstone signal along. And it's going to pass it along into this block over here which in turn passes it on to the powered rail. So now all we need to do is add our minecart. For now, the minecart is going to go back and forth because it is currently empty. But as soon as it picks up an item, our unloading system is going to spring into action. So let's just pop a few items right in there. And then you'll see it stops on the hopper to unload. So what is happening is the hopper now has an item inside of it and it is passing on a redstone signal to the comparator. The comparator is passing that signal onto the block next to it, which turns off the redstone torch. And that in turn turns off all of the following blocks and finally the powered rail. So as soon as it's done unloading, it will go on its merry way once more. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how this particular unloading system works. I hope you found this useful. Leave a like if you did. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, beautiful people, bye-bye.